Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Brian Raid and I'm a naturopathic doctor. And this is a quick video about using a low dose immunotherapy for the treatment of SIBO, uh, which is small intestine bacterial overgrowth. I just finished recording a presentation for an upcoming SIBO masterclass summit that I'm, I'm very excited to be a part of, and there'll be I'll post information about it as soon as it's got some public release information out there. Right now it's um, more of like a, I don't know, save the date type thing for November, I think, but I haven't uh, been sent any promo material yet. So I'll post something on social media when that's available, but it's all about the theme of the, the summit is, um, you, uh, is about kind of newer cutting edge therapies for, for SIBO. And so I was excited to be asked to be part of that and uh, excited because I got to talk about low dose immunotherapy, which is one of my favorite topics to discuss. And it's also just a little bit ironic because it's talking about new therapies for SIBO yet, you know, LDI has been around for, for a long time and I've been using it for, uh, with patients who are suffering from SIBO for quite some time. Um, as I talk about in the presentation, not everybody who has SIBO needs low-dose immunotherapy by any stretch of the imagination, but folks who are dealing with SIBO and it's of a more chronic or relapsing uh, nature, then sometimes low-dose immunotherapy can be really helpful. And as I, as I mentioned in the presentation, and I, I was yammering on for about an hour and 10 minutes. They said 30 to 60 minute presentation, and I was proud of myself that I got it down to an hour and 10. So <clears throat> I'll talk about it a, 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 uh, to give a, a brief synopsis of that, the clues to suggest whether someone might benefit, potentially benefit from low dose immunotherapy if they have SIBO is if they find that when they start backing off on the diet uh, that's keeping the SIBO bacteria numbers at bay, or if they start backing off on the antimicrobials that they're using to help kill off the SIBO bacteria, and their symptoms start to flare up again pretty quickly afterwards. So, you know, within days of starting to incrementally back off on their protocol or um, potentially within minutes or hours if they eat something that's really SIBO friendly, uh, a SIBO feeding food, then those are two pretty big clues that there might be a need for, or that they might benefit from low dose immunotherapy. Low dose immunotherapy ultimately helps to retrain the immune system to stop having a hypersensitivity reaction against the SIBO bacteria, or sometimes other microbes that are involved in the SIBO pathophysiology. So sometimes there's um, uh, yeast overgrowth in the small intestine, which is called CFO or small intestine fungal overgrowth. And so sometimes actually with quite a lot more regularity, we actually see that yeast low dose immunotherapy can be more helpful in those challenging cases than the low dose immunotherapy formulas that have some of the SIBO bacteria in there, like staph and strep and things like that. So the, the long and short of it is that if a person finds that they just are kind of stuck taking antimicrobials or they're stuck on a stricter anti-SIBO diet and they just don't seem to have much wiggle room or ability to reduce the dosage of those uh, herbs or antimicrobials or back off on the diet and their symptoms relapse pretty quickly and easily, then that can be a clue that maybe they have a hypersensitivity to those bacteria or yeast and maybe low dose immunotherapy would be applicable for them. So if anybody has any questions about that just post in the comment section below and otherwise I will post once that SIBO Masterclass Summit is officially announced and, and uh, uh, the details will, will come as to how to access that information um, when it becomes available.